The term bad boy in our society is usually associated with a negative connotation. It is used to describe men with a range of negative character traits. These are men who are difficult to control, unpredictable, and can be expected to do anything. After all, this trend of criticizing bad boy stretches back to childhood. And first your parents, then your teachers at school, and then your friends tell you about that. You have to avoid this unfortunate mentality at all costs. Bay Boy and their reasoning is as follows. You'll be walking like hell down the street at night and pestering passers-by, looking for that one opportunity to unleash your nine-tailed fox and show some real taijutsu in action. And you'll grow up to be a rapist who doesn't respect women and more and more. You'll also become a drug addict. However, if you are an adequate person who respects yourself, you can look deeper through this social stereotype of the bad guy and understand the practical basics that go into the term. You need to start by laying a foundation in the form of your hard work perseverance that will make you both strong, successful, and confident. But to pull this off, you need to know clearly and sincerely what you want to achieve in life. You need to prioritize yourself and other people, and most importantly, to follow this priority. And in the end, it will determine how quickly you will move towards your goal to be Jagadis Tov, laid in us by nature itself. And neglecting this tool in most life situations will not help you achieve the desired result, but will definitely play into the hands of someone else. Selfish men win because they don't waste time. Trying to appear credible in front of someone else, they initially prioritize and, first of all, engaged in the realization of themselves and their exceptional skills in those areas in which they are able to compete with other people. And here the key point is that your desires must come exclusively from you, and every decision must be made by you, not by someone on the outside, your friends, parents, or the society around you. And on the way to your becoming, you need to realize and accept some facts. By denying them, you risk not achieving your goals or very slowing down in their achievement. And the first and most important fact is that you have to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and write a comment. Just accept that and we'll move on. Okay. In all seriousness, the first one is that on the way to your goal in your life, you're going to have to ignore a lot of people, even insult them, to be cold and nonchalant in many situations. And it's not because you're some kind of so bad and so uncaring, but because you won't have enough time and energy to entertain everyone and please everyone to make everyone feel good. But the people around you will not realize this because they are used to not seeing the big picture, but only noticing it in a narrow format. I wanted me, drunk, at two in the morning, to come and pick me up from a nightclub. Asshole is not a friend of the second phase, is that you have to become that person who does not ask for permission, because in today's world, for everyone is so. What matters is what other people will think of him, what opinion other people will have of them, other people, and they're constantly looking for that outside approval. You don't have to ask for permission, but that doesn't mean you will do as you please. You are an adequate and confident person, and when you want to do something, you are well aware of the consequences that may follow your action and the result you will get in the end. And the most important thing is the responsibility you take on the moment you made the decision to do something this way. And why would you want to ask someone for permission? But our character trait of taking on more than we can pull, of taking very serious risks, is probably the very factor why men have a lower life expectancy than women. But that's why women love us for this pursuit of perfection. We're trying to be that perfect man. At least imagine it, to become that perfect man without a flaw who never misses or stumbles on his life's journey. But we can't fool ourselves, and deep down inside we realize that we can't become that very ideal. As long as we live in this world, we will each have our own set of flaws in social media era. We always flaunt our strong side, showing how cool and smart we are, and carefully hide our other side, which is where all our flaws reside because we fear criticism and judgment, which subsequently leaves a huge hole in our image of being a good person, which is full of ignorance and lack of recognition and admiration for our individuality. And when I say individual flaws, I mean ethical flaws. Unless you are a roastanic bitch who raised her hand to her mother in a tantrum, in that case you need to apologize and do your best to rectify the bad situation. But if we return to ethical and moral character flaws, they are usually either hereditary or congenital. Your oddly shapely hairstyle, 
your innate inability to handle multiple tasks properly, your occasional clumsiness, your constant stubbornness, and perhaps your unwillingness to make extremely romantic gestures. But you must realize that no one in this world is perfect and the very idea of striving for perfection sounds very tempting, but believe me, in the end, this pursuit will just be pointless, and the fact that no one has become a perfect human being yet draws certain conclusions. Just recognize these flaws within yourself, and stop chasing a mythical ideal along the way, trying to flip yourself from head to toe, because this set of flaws make up a big part of you, yourself, as individuals. They are what make you different from others, and yes, some people may hate you for some of your flaws. Some people may even wish you deed because of them. Because all people have different tastes, and you ended up with that person who is not capable of satisfying their preference, but... I don't think you need to explain the fact that you don't have to stand up for yourself and listen to all this garbage that is trying to break your self-esteem and fall for all these cheap provocations that are trying to throw you off balance, but at the same time... Time your pacuism is the ultimate manifestation of your absolute self-respect. You just don't care about all the empty words. You know what you are worth and what you need out of life. You. You just face these all attempts by people to hurt you, but there is not a hint of a response on your face. You absolutely don't care, and believe me, it will undermine you. Such as, farts that it will be brighter than New Year's Eve fireworks. But you are here to be used as a floor rag or a punching bag. Therefore, if someone from your weak position decides to cross your lines, you with the same calm face will put him in his place, feeling for such a person only pity in. Nowadays, people are used to succeed at the expense of others, and on your path to success you are bound to meet such people, and in such cases, you should not give them such a position. You will drive them into a deaf defense, thereby feeding them their own pill to eat. They feed it to everyone around them all the time, and yes, you will often be called an asshole for hurting someone's feelings out there. But wait, who gives a shit about their feelings anyway? The world doesn't revolve around some upstarts, and it also doesn't revolve around you. It's separate. It was before you. It is. It is now, and it will be after you. So what are you worried about? You have your own goals that you need to achieve. Never drown in self-pity, or pity for yourself or others for having to make tough decisions that will affect other people. The truth is that there's a bad guy in all of us. And of course we'd like to live a quieter life because of all those American city iceristas, decisive action, endless flow, perseverance, dominating ourselves and exploring the unknown. But we live in today's reality. And the reality is that if you haven't taken some decisive action, you will someone else. But here is one nuance. We need to apply the character of the bad guy very carefully. As opinion, she will play an important role of achieving our goals. We. We need to put on the mask of the good guy and gradually in key situations use our secret weapon, Pat Boygan. But in any case, each situation should be evaluated by you individually and made. Informed decisions. Thank you all for watching. We'll hear from you again.